Hello, my name is David Giles of Hitex Development Tools, and this is a short presentation on the regression testing capabilities of TESI, the unit testing tool from RazorCat. This is part two, the one which you've just seen. What uh, I've done is I've added hours, minutes, and seconds um, to the structure. So you can see in the header file uh, we have uh, another structure which has been uh, um, effectively added. This is the type defined for the structure, which comprises of three elements. Uh, which is hours, minutes and seconds and then I've added this structure previously we had uh, the day of the week uh, we had the day in the month uh, we had the year and also uh, so the month and also the year and what I've done this time is I've added in uh, another component to that structure uh, which is called uh, my time and my time is based on this uh, structure which I've just showed you um, here the C source code uh, is pretty much identical um, so again we have one input parameter of the type um, calendar type and we have one return value um, but obviously my local calendar now is a changed um, structure the only difference between this new code and the old code is this small section uh, which I've put in here which basically checks to see if the seconds is greater than 59 and the minutes is greater than 59 and the hours is greater than 23 so to the quickest way to uh, to do this I've saved those as two separate um, files uh, different C source files and header files but basically the same so there is a very quick way in which we can uh, amend the test that we already have come down into the properties um, dialog uh, box and again I'll keep the environment set as the TI uh, Code Composer Studio and basically I'll add in uh, the new C source file and then I'll delete the old one and uh, I click on OK and uh, when I uh, click on the uh, plus icon Tessie will reanalyze the new C source code and it will try and match up the old uh, with the new we get the uh, prompt to either reuse or new. If we click on new, all the test data that we've already created will be destroyed and lost. So I'll click on reuse. Tessie has um, brought up uh, the dialog to indicate that there's something not quite right between the old and the new. And this is the function name here. We get a little caution symbol, uh, which is highlighted. When we come into the enums, um, obviously the enums have changed again because we've gone back to, uh, to English from German. So I'll quickly just uh, move these over. So this is the first change that uh, Tessie has uh, correctly identified. Very small change in uh, enum values there. And uh, when I, I now click on the uh, the interface, you'll see that we also have a little red uh, cross against the structure, which was the input parameter. If I click on the the, the uh, structure box um, on both sides, we can compare the old with the new. So the old interface, we had one, two, three, four elements within the uh, within the structure. And in the new one, we can see that we have five. Uh, this uh, little icon here, if I click on the plus symbol again, we can have a look inside um, the new structure that's been buried inside the, uh, the, uh, this, uh, the calendar structure. Now here, I don't have anything on the right-hand side to correlate it to. Um, and all I have to do uh, to accept the changes is click on this razor cat icon here to commit the assignments. So it says there are incomplete test objects. Do you really want to uh, commit? And I say yes. And when we open up the module, Tessie will again correctly identify that there's only one C source function in there called um, check valid data. Then when I come up onto the interface and uh, you can see uh, when we have a look at the uh, the interface we can see that the new uh, structure has now actually been buried within the existing um, structure which is what it's designed to be. We can also when we click on the plus icon see the three elements within that structure and you can see Tessie has correctly identified that they are uh, in parameters. I'll close this down. What you'll notice is that the three test cases which historically had been yellow uh, to indicate complete test data have now changed to a grey colour to indicate that they're incomplete. So when I double click on test case number one when I open up the test case number one you can see now that we have the existing data which we'd already inputted which is Monday the 1st of January year 2000 but the uh, the values for hours minutes and seconds um, is actually omitted so what I'll do is I'll quickly fill these in naught naught and naught which is midnight and for test case number two I'll put some test data in here uh, so this time we can have uh, 59 seconds which is a boundary value another 59 and on my third test case I can enter some more test data for this as well and then close it down so what uh, I've managed to do now is I've managed to retain the existing test data that has taken me a while to uh, prepare and to fill in and now I can execute 
um, those test cases uh, again but this time with the additional values um, that I have for t t uh, hours, minutes and seconds. So as you can see by reutilizing existing test data I've actually saved myself uh, a lot of time of having to re-enter that and that's why regression testing is a very important aspect to any automated test and as you can see here I have three uh, past uh, tests. So that completes a short introduction to uh, regression testing. For those customers in UK and Ireland you can find additional information on TESI the unit testing tool from RazorCat on the Hitex website www.hitex.co.uk or please contact myself David Giles on djiles at hitex.co.uk for other regions please contact my colleague Frank Buchner on frank.buchner at hitex.de